Breast cancer is a type of cancer that develops in the breast tissue. It is one of the most common types of cancer among women worldwide, and it can also occur in men, although this is much less common. Breast cancer can develop in different parts of the breast, including the ducts that carry milk to the nipple or the lobules that produce milk. Breast cancer is a major public health concern, affecting millions of people around the world. According to the World Health Organization, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide, with an estimated 2.3 million new cases diagnosed in 2020 alone. This represents about 11.7% of all new cancer cases diagnosed in women globally. In the United States, breast cancer is the second most common cancer among women, after skin cancer. It is estimated that about 1 in 8 women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer at some point in their lifetime. According to the American Cancer Society, it is estimated that in 2023, there will be about 297,790 new cases of invasive breast cancer diagnosed in women in the U.S., as well as about 55,270 new cases of non-invasive breast cancer. Although breast cancer is more common in women, men can also develop the disease. According to the American Cancer Society, it is estimated that about 2,800 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in men in the U.S. in 2023. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about breast cancer. Breast cancer develops when normal breast cells start to grow and divide uncontrollably, forming a mass or tumor in the breast tissue. These cancerous cells can then invade nearby tissue and potentially spread to other parts of the body. The breast tissue is made up of several different types of cells, including ductal cells, lobular cells, and connective tissue cells. Ductal cells line the milk ducts that carry milk from the lobules to the nipple. Lobular cells make up the lobules, which produce milk. Connective tissue cells provide structure and support to the breast tissue. Breast cancer can occur in any of these cell types but it most commonly develops in the ductal or lobular cells. In some cases, breast cancer can also occur in the connective tissue cells, but this is much less common. The exact cause of breast cancer is not fully understood, but several risk factors have been identified. These include Age, the risk of breast cancer increases as a person gets older. Most breast cancer cases are diagnosed in women over the age of 50. Gender, breast cancer is much more common in women than in men. Family history, women with a family history of breast cancer, particularly those with a mother, sister, or daughter who has been diagnosed with breast cancer, have a higher risk of developing the disease. Genetics, some genetic mutations, such as mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, can increase the risk of breast cancer. Hormones. High levels of estrogen and progesterone can increase the risk of breast cancer, which is why hormonal factors such as early onset of menstruation, late onset of menopause, and use of hormone replacement therapy have been linked to an increased risk. Lifestyle factors. Certain lifestyle factors such as obesity, lack of physical activity, alcohol consumption, and smoking have also been linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. Once breast cancer develops, it can spread to nearby lymph nodes or other parts of the body through the bloodstream or lymphatic system. The spread of cancer to other parts of the body is called metastases and can make treatment more difficult. Breast cancer can often present with a range of symptoms, but it is important to note that not all cases of breast cancer will cause noticeable symptoms. The most common symptom of breast cancer is a lump or mass in the breast tissue. These can often feel hard and immovable and may be painless. Breast cancer can also cause pain or tenderness in the breast tissue, although this is not always present. Breast cancer can cause the breast tissue to become asymmetrical or to change in shape or size. A discharge from the nipple, particularly if it is bloody, may be a sign of breast cancer. Changes in the skin of breast, such as redness, dimpling, or puckering can also occur in breast cancer. It is important to note that these symptoms may also be caused by conditions other than breast cancer. So it is important to see a healthcare provider if any of these symptoms are present. 
Additionally, some cases of breast cancer may not cause any noticeable symptoms, which is why regular breast screenings, such as mammograms, are so important. There are various types of breast cancers. Some main types include ductal carcinoma in situ. This type of breast cancer starts in the milk ducts but has not yet spread into the surrounding breast tissue. It is considered non-invasive because it has not yet spread outside the ducts. DECMIS is often detected through a mammogram and can usually be treated successfully. Invasive ductal carcinoma, IDC. This is the most common type of breast cancer, accounting for about 80% of all breast cancer cases. IDC starts in the milk ducts but then invades the surrounding breast tissue. It can also spread to other parts of the body if left untreated. Invasive lobular carcinoma, ILC. This type of breast cancer starts in the lobules, which are the milk-producing glands in the breast. It can also invade the surrounding breast tissue and potentially spread to other parts of the body. Triple negative breast cancer, TNBC. This is a type of breast cancer that is negative for estrogen receptor ER, progesterone receptor PR, and HER2 protein. TNBC tends to be more aggressive than other types of breast cancer and is often treated with chemotherapy. HER2 positive breast cancer. This type of breast cancer tests positive for the HER2 protein, which promotes the growth of cancer cells. HER2 positive breast cancer can be treated with targeted therapy drugs that block the HER2 protein. Inflammatory breast cancer IBC. This is a rare but aggressive type of breast cancer that accounts for less than 5% of all breast cancer cases. IBC causes the breast to become red, swollen, and warm to the touch, and can often be mistaken for a breast infection. IBC requires immediate treatment and can be difficult to treat. It is important to note that these are not the only types of breast cancer, and some breast cancers may have a combination of features from multiple types. Additionally, breast cancer can be classified based on its stage and grade, which can impact treatment options and prognosis. The diagnosis of breast cancer involves a number of steps, including physical examination of the breasts, mammogram, ultrasound, MRI, and biopsy to confirm the presence of cancerous cells. A mammogram is often used as a screening tool for breast cancer and can detect tumors that may not be noticeable during a physical exam. An ultrasound and MRI may also be used to get a more detailed picture of any abnormalities in the breast tissue. If an abnormality is detected through screening tests, a biopsy may be necessary to confirm the presence of cancerous cells. Additionally, further testing may be necessary to determine the stage of the cancer and whether it has spread to other parts of the body. This may involve imaging tests such as PET scan or CT scan. Early detection through regular screening tests can greatly increase the chances of successful treatment and survival, so it is important for women to discuss their screening options with a healthcare provider. The treatment options for breast cancer can include Surgery Surgery is often the first line of treatment for breast cancer. The type of surgery recommended depends on the stage and location of the cancer, as well as other factors such as the size of the tumor and whether the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes. The two main types of surgery are lumpectomy and mastectomy. Lumpectomy is a breast-conserving surgery where only the tumor and a small amount of surrounding tissue are removed. This is typically followed by radiation therapy to the breast. Mastectomy is a surgery where the entire breast is removed, along with nearby lymph nodes in some cases. Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy uses high-energy X-rays or other types of radiation to kill cancer cells. It is often used after surgery to destroy any remaining cancer cells in the breast or lymph nodes. Radiation therapy may also be used as the main treatment for breast cancer in certain cases, such as for patients who cannot have surgery. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells throughout the body. It is often used in addition to surgery and radiation therapy for patients with more advanced breast cancers. Chemotherapy can cause side effects such as fatigue, nausea, and hair loss. Hormone therapy. 
Hormone therapy is used for patients with hormone receptor positive breast cancer, which means that the cancer cells have receptors for the hormones estrogen or progesterone. Hormone therapy works by blocking the effects of these hormones or reducing their production. This can help slow or stop the growth of the cancer cells. Hormone therapy can cause side effects such as hot flashes and mood changes. Targeted therapy Targeted therapy is a newer type of treatment that targets specific proteins or other molecules that help cancer cells grow and divide. It is used for patients with certain types of breast cancer, such as HER2-positive breast cancer. Targeted therapy can be given as a pill or injection and can cause side effects such as fatigue and nausea. In some cases, a combination of these treatments may be used to treat breast cancer. The treatment plan is tailored to the individual patient and may change as the cancer progresses or as new treatments become available. We hope you have liked this video. If you have any queries, feel free to ask and comment. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe our channel for more health and medical videos.